what exactly is a January barometer? I mean, in short, um, January barometer is just a statistics. So according to the tra Stock Traders Almanac, so this is a book I think they publish every year since, I think since maybe 10, at least 10 years ago. So there's a new book coming out uh, every year. It's just um, basically just summarize what happened every day, uh, what's the uh, percentage, the winning rate, whether it's a bullish, bearish, what happened, what sort of event. So there are quite a lot of the uh, good statistics and it's quite handy for, for trading if you really believe this kind of the seasonality. But um, there are some things that I think we definitely can um, benchmark or reference to with the January barometer. So January barometer is basically just an indicator um, of the performance uh, of the market in January. So pretty much that if January is a bullish month, then the whole year will generally end in a bullish year. And in opposite, if January is a bearish month, is a down month, then um, it's not so constructive uh, for the bullish environment. So in short, uh, every Dow January since uh, 1950, so there's a stats, they just uh, track and record uh, the S&P 500 and also the Dow as well. So pretty much uh, it was followed by new or continuing bear market, 10% correction or a flat year. So that's pretty much it, uh, the conclusion for the January, uh, the down January. So last January, sorry, the, the January uh, that we just witnessed uh, ended like have a correction of more than, slightly more than 5%. So it's one of the worst month that we have ever seen since, since 2009. So I believe 2009 is probably not really suitable uh, because it's definitely in a, a bearish uh, environment. So 2008 was a global financial crisis. 2009 is just a continuation of the downtrend. So uh, that is a pretty bearish month uh, in 2009. But um, this year, January is also relatively bearish. So uh, it's minus about five plus percent. And for this, if we have a down January and usually we'll see that there is a substantial declines. So from January close to the low. So means that uh, as long as we identify a low within this year, uh, since the January close, then there will be average of about minus 13%. Uh, that's uh, since 1950. So this, uh, excluded uh, last year 2021 because last year uh, we did have a minus uh, January month so it's a, it's a down month in January but uh, overall uh, is very bullish year so last year was an exceptional case so I mean in short January barometer actually pointed a bearish picture for this year I think this actually in line with um, what I actually show you a few sessions ago about the midterm election uh, for the US midterm election. Usually it's quite volatile and we'll generally see a flat market and probably at the end of the year, then you will see a trend trend up from there. So I think that's uh, quite in line with the, um, the midterm election. So in order to better predict or interpret this kind of the statistic, I think it's very important to look at uh, the context. So let's just uh, take a look at this chart here. So this is a monthly chart of the S&P. So it's a monthly chart. So each bar just uh, represent uh, one month. So I have actually highlighted the, the Dow January. So this is a uh, Dow January, Dow January, Dow January, Dow January, Dow, 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 Dow. that since uh, 2000. So we got about 13 events. So 13 Dow January. So the January ended as a Dow month, uh, bearish month. And subsequently, I think one of the most important thing is whenever we want to do this sort of the stats, uh, it's always crucial to uh, read the chart with a similar context. Because for example, if we start from 2000, obviously, what is this environment? So this is a, a trading range or maybe a distribution range. 
and this is pretty much a, a downtrend so a redistribution and then another um another uh, trading range but overall is in a uh, downtrend and if we look at 2008 and 2009 so there is this but this is something like a, a sign of weakness so if you think of this as a trading range this is a sign of weakness inability to rally up then this is the, the down move, the markdown. So if we take 2009 as a look, it's just part of the downtrend here. So obviously this is a uh, very bearish. So I think it's quite important to, to compare with the, the right context. So for this year, uh, 2022, this is the bar. So the background before this bar is a very strong uptrend right so we have a very strong uptrend and kind of just bump into a buying climax so definitely is sort of like a, a parabolic run climatic run up so until this bar show up so this is the, the down January and this is certainly a change of character bar in this monthly chart so a change of character bar essentially just stop this uptrend so this is uptrend since COVID low so COVID low is 2020 March so since the COVID low and uh, there's a strong uptrend emerge and this bar here actually is a change of the bar stopping this uptrend so if we want to look at the past events this is certainly it's like a up trust or up trust after distribution and this is in the middle of the range and that looks like it because we definitely have a, a strong uptrend that's uh, in 2015 2015 and this is kind of a change of character bar but in terms of the magnitude it probably doesn't look like a change of character bar here so look, look at this the spread of the month of the uh, last month is very big so it's like minus five percent but in terms of the spread in 20 uh, 15 is probably kind of uh, small so I don't really consider that uh, suitable and I think this is suitable but this is kind of an anomaly but um, I think it eventually it's just kind of reverse itself so 21.4 is quite an exceptional case so I think the most suitable um, case that we can use is in 2010 so we have a background of the uptrend and in terms of the price spread of the change of character bar, I think this is pretty much similar. So we have a change of character bar essentially stopping the, the uptrend. So we have uptrend here, uptrend here, change of character bar, change of character bar, increasing of the supply, increasing of the supply as well here, so locally. So I think 2010 is the right one that uh, we can use to compare. So let's just uh, start from here. Uh, if we look at uh, the characteristic of 2010, certainly it's a trading range. And we see that there is a, quite a high volume. So there's an expansion of the volume and also increase of the volatility to the upside, to the downside. And eventually, you can see that this trading range actually resolve itself out uh, probably at the end of the year, I think the last three months. So the, the uptrend actually started here. So there is a last one, two, three or four. So this three or four months just uh, started the sign of strength rally. The uptrend actually just resolved itself from the trading range. So this is the kind of the environment that we could be in for this year. So we have a change of character bar here. So that essentially just stopping the uptrend at least into a trading range if not a totally reversal so i think this is quite a good analog here and one thing that's to take note here is 2010 is also a midterm election in us as well so this year is 2022 so 2010 is certainly is another midterm election so we do have quite uh, some similarity in 2010 and 2022 so i think this is uh, a nice analog that we can uh, refer to so that's why this is uh, something that i am actually anticipating like a trading range 
uh, quite volatile both to the upside to the downside and eventually hopefully uh, in next uh, probably like Q3 or Q4 um, we could see some emerge of the uptrend so I think the first half year is certainly very volatile all right so that's the um, how I will be using uh, the January barometer and from there I think we can definitely use this as a reference to anticipate that this year will be kind of a flat year so I think the best case is it's a trading range and eventually it's sort of just uh, going from the low to to here maybe up a bit so that's um, based on the January barometer all right 